is Thailand a safe country to visit? Anytime that you're visiting a new country, you always want to do some sort of research to figure out if it's going to be a safe place for you to visit. My family and I have been living in Thailand for the past seven months, and I would say it is one of the safest countries in the world that we have ever been to. A lot of places here in Thailand compared to its counterpart over in the US where we're from actually end up being a lot safer in my opinion. But let's talk about some of the reasons why Thailand is one of the safest countries in the world. If you're like me and you're from the US, you've probably heard the misconception that Southeast Asia is not one of the safest areas in the world to go and visit. So this whole video is going to be debunking that narrative that Southeast Asia is not safe and I'm going to be showing you how Thailand is actually one of the safest countries in the world that you can visit. To start off our conversation, the first thing that you're going to want to know is that the people of Thailand are probably the kindest people who you will ever meet. Thailand is called the Land of Smiles and once you visit here, you're not going to be surprised that that's the nickname for the country. Everyone here is always warm and welcoming and always wants to be of service to you. It's a great place to bring kids. We have been living here with our son for the past seven months and we absolutely love it. People are so welcoming of kids here. It's great. People are always very helpful in trying to help foreigners know where to get around and how to get around. They're very patient with language barriers. Bangkok is a central hub for just so many different nationalities to come and mix together and so because of that the people here are very understanding when people don't understand the Thai language. That being said, of course, it's always very respectful for you to learn a few phrases before coming here, but people here are very patient with the people who don't understand the language. As a local, we've started to learn our way around the city, but coming here as a tourist, it would not be rude or strange for you to just be able to walk up to a random person in the city and just say like, hey, how can I find, you know, a place to buy diapers for my kids or a place to find some fresh fruit or something like that and they would be able to help you out and point you in the right direction. The people here are some of the kindest people in the world and honestly one of the reasons why we ended up moving here. Another reason why Thailand is such a safe country to visit is because of the low crime rates that exist here. Like I said earlier in this video, there are some places here in Thailand where we're able to feel a little bit safer than we did over in the US. As it is here, I don't mind my wife walking down the street and going to the store even at night by herself. Whereas in the US, that definitely made me feel uncomfortable. I didn't trust that she was safe just walking to the store even in the US at night, but out here in Thailand and even in Bangkok where we live, I totally feel safe with her walking down the street. Thailand almost has non-existent violent crime, and that's not saying that it doesn't have any violent crime, it does have some, but it's not something that's common to hear about. Same thing with petty crime, like pickpocketing and things like that. It's rare to hear about, but it does happen. Actually, the other night, me and my friend went out and he emptied his pockets and had me put all of his things into my bag so that it would be a little bit more difficult to pickpocket because we knew the area that we were going into would be more likely for us to see some of that. And actually what happened was he was pickpocketed. Thankfully, nothing was in his pockets, but just goes to show you it does happen. Typically, that's gonna happen in more busy, touristy areas, and if you're coming, living here as a local, I never have to worry about being pickpocketed in public. That being said, if you're coming here as a tourist, it's safe to keep all of your things just in a bag so that it's much more difficult for anyone to reach their hand into your pocket and pull something out. Just do normal safety things that you would do in any big city that you're going to. Not because it's Thailand specifically, but just because anytime you're in a crowded area, that's just something that's smart to do anyways. Another reason why Thailand is one of the safest countries to visit, especially as a tourist, is because Thailand has tourist police specifically for tourists who come to Thailand. These police not only help with just getting you to where you want to go, but if there is any sort of petty crime or anything like that, they're really great to have around. They will help you out. Most of them are able to speak multiple languages, not just Thai and English, but several other languages as well. So no matter what country it is that you're coming from, you should be able to find some police who are able to speak the language that you speak. Something that every traveler should be aware of is cultural respect. Being respectful of the culture that you're visiting and not forcing your own culture onto that country or that people when you arrive into that culture. For example, myself as an American, we tend to be pretty loud people in public. It's not uncommon for us to shout across a room if we need something from someone. And that is just super unacceptable for Americans to come here and to just be obnoxiously loud in public. My wife and I were out at McDonald's the other night and there was this other foreign couple who was in there and they were shouting at each other across the restaurant to see if the other person had the change that they needed to make to be able to pay for their food. And this couple had no idea, but everyone else in that restaurant was super uncomfortable because it's just, 
is not the thing for people to do to come here and to shout across the restaurant. It's very normal in other countries, but when you come here, that's something that's rude to do. And so one of the reasons that makes Thailand safe is Thailand is very respectful of cultures. Thailand is very aware that people function differently from the way that they do. And so when they see tourists, when they see foreigners coming into Thailand, they're aware of some of the ways that they are going to behave differently from Thai culture. And they're very respectful of that as well. Another reason why we ended up moving to Thailand is because the healthcare in Thailand in my opinion is actually superior to that of even in the United States. Now you may say, well, all US healthcare is so much better than anywhere else in the world. First of all, that's just simply not true. Second of all, even if you wanted to argue that most US healthcare facilities are better than government healthcare facilities in Thailand, you might be right, but the prices for healthcare in the US are so astronomical and unaffordable, people like me and my wife had no access to healthcare in the US because we couldn't afford that healthcare. Healthcare. And so because of that, I would say that Thai healthcare is superior to that in the United States because the quality of many healthcare facilities here in Thailand match or surpass the healthcare that the US would have, plus it's a fraction of the cost. If you're coming here as a tourist, you will definitely be able to afford the best healthcare facilities that Thailand has to offer. Now I know that many people are going to say, you know, there are a lot of people in Thailand who don't have access to that great healthcare. And you're right, and that's the case in any country around the world. World, that those who are in lower incomes aren't going to have access to the great healthcare that each country has to offer. But certainly coming here as a foreigner and as a tourist, if you're able to pay to get into the country, likely you'll be able to pay to have the great healthcare as well. Another reason why Thailand is safe for foreigners coming to Thailand is transportation. The transportation around the cities are super, super safe, depending on what you choose to drive around on. If you are taking a train, a bus, if you are traveling domestically within the country, I would say you are definitely in one of the safest countries that you can possibly be in. However, many tourists, when they come into Thailand, decide that they want the convenience of either taking motorbike taxis or they want to rent a motorbike themselves. Most of the time, motorbike accidents are where we see the most tragic accidents out on the road. And so coming here as a foreigner, I really wouldn't recommend taking a motorbike taxi. And I would say for sure, do not rent a motorbike, especially here in Bangkok. I have seen so many foreigners walking around the city with bandaged wrists who have just come from the beaches. And so like when you're around the beaches, there's less traffic. And so people think it's safer, but in reality, they just don't know how to ride a motorbike well in Thailand traffic. And if you're coming here to Bangkok, please do not rent a motorbike. I've seen so many people almost hurt themselves or hurt me and my family or some of the Thai locals because they just don't know how to drive in Bangkok traffic. It has its own unique flow and people drive in a certain way that takes time to get used to. Even as a local, we still have to go and get a Thai driver's license that is different from the Thai driver's license to be able to drive a car. You specifically need a motorbike license to be able to drive here, and it takes about two days to go through a training course as well as on-the-road practice to prove that you can actually drive a motorbike in Thailand. So if you're coming here as a foreigner, please be respectful of the people who actually live here and don't rent a motorbike. Thailand is also very safe when it comes to food. You can go out and eat street food and expect that you're going to be fine. There's a lot of misunderstanding when it comes to street food, thinking that, oh, just because it's prepared on the street, automatically it might have some food poisoning, and that's just not the case. You can go out there and you can have street food. My family, we go out and we have street food at least two to three times a week. My wife is pregnant here in Thailand right now and she's been eating the street food and it's been great the entire time. So if you're coming to Thailand, you're safe to eat the street food. Now, one thing that I will say about this is that with the water that you drink, of course you can't drink from the faucet, but that's the case with many countries around the world and not just something that's unique to Thailand. Some kitchens will actually have a filtered faucet in the kitchen. We do have that and we're very thankful for that, but if you don't, you can always just run to the nearest 7-Eleven and pick up a water bottle or use a refillable water bottle and find one of those refillable water stations that you can find in lots of places around the country. You will never not be without access to water. Now that we've talked about all of the reasons why Thailand is a safe country to travel to, and I hope that you recognize that Thailand is super safe, it is something that you can come here and enjoy and not have to worry about what's gonna happen to me while I'm abroad. I do wanna talk though about some of the things that you should be aware of just to be smart when you're traveling in a big city. Some of this is not even specific to Thailand or specific to Bangkok, it's just 
things that you should do to be smart when you're traveling around in a big city. Number one, and this is specific to Bangkok, make sure that when you're getting into a taxi, make sure that you have someone who is, first of all, sitting in the front seat and also has their Google Maps open. There's a popular scam here in Thailand amongst taxi drivers when tourists come here. They get into the taxi and then the taxi driver takes them in this big circle because the foreigner doesn't know where they're going and they run up the meter price to get more money out of the person that they're driving. So be aware of that. Second thing though, is that you'll have a lot of taxi drivers try to offer you a set price to take you to your destination. That's actually illegal here in Thailand and you can require them to use the meter. Now, a lot of times when this happens, they'll just say, no, I'm not gonna use the meter for you and they'll drive by and you won't be able to use that taxi. And it's okay. We've had that happen to us several times before where we say we want you to use the meter and they tell us they're not going to and so we just say it's okay, we'll find another taxi. And they go off and they find someone else who may not know the law. Another popular scam that we hear about here in Bangkok, especially with taxi drivers, are taxi drivers who say that they don't have change when you go to pay for your taxi. We've had that happen to us probably two to three times in the amount of time that we've lived here and taken taxis. When that happens, they're just lying to you. They do have change. And so if you just tell them like, no, you need to make change. We need to find a way that we can settle this. They'll usually figure out a way to make the change. So if they say that they don't, don't trust them. They do have the change. One thing with taxi drivers that sounds like a scam that is actually not a scam and it catches a lot of foreigners off guard is that there are pretty hefty tolls if you're taking a highway. And so the taxi driver sometimes doesn't ask you hey, do you want to take the highway that has tolls? It'll be a little bit extra. Usually the way that they ask you is, do you want to take the highway? And that's all that they ask. And of course, as a foreigner, you say like, sure, why not take the highway? That sounds faster and more convenient. But what that means is that once you get to your destination, you may pay a little bit extra, maybe sometimes even doubling the amount that you were originally going to pay. So just be aware of that. If you tell them that you want to use the highway, you're gonna pay a little bit more money for that. And it's not a scam, it's just, that's how Thailand is. The highways have tolls. One popular scam that we have seen specifically around the Grand Palace is the lie that the Grand Palace is closed today. We've had so many people who have passed us as we are walking around that area before and told us that the Grand Palace is closed. The Grand Palace is never closed. So if you're here in Thailand and you're on your way to visit the Grand Palace and someone tells you that it's closed and they instead want to offer you a ride on their longboat and they say it's this great deal and they'll take you to another extravagant temple, don't let them do that. They're trying to take your money. Don't let them take you anywhere. Just keep on walking to the Grand Palace and ignore them. Now, this is the case in many cities where you have people who are just trying to sell you things and they try to sell you things for a higher price than what it's worth. Know where you're at. If you're in a touristy area, expect to pay a little bit more. Now you can try bargaining with some people to try to lower the price a little bit, but if you're in a touristy price, and especially if you look like a foreigner, you're probably gonna pay a higher price. Another thing to just be aware of, and this is true when you're in any kind of city, if you're in a crowded area, watch your pockets, watch your bags, watch when people brush up next to you. It's just smart to be aware of your surroundings, and that's true of any city, whether you're in Bangkok, Thailand, or if you're in somewhere in the US or Europe or anywhere else in the world, just be aware of your surroundings and just be smart. So to wrap all this up, Thailand, in my opinion, is one of the safest countries in the world to visit. We have moved here along with our two-year-old son, my pregnant wife. We're planning on having a baby here in a few weeks. And it's just, we've never had any situations where we've been scared for our existence, where we've been scared to just like walk down the street. And I can't say the same thing for life in the US. We were kind of scared to walk around certain places in the city where we live. And now that we live here, we absolutely love it. We love raising our son here. It's a great place for families. It's a great place to adventure and to get a taste of what life is like in Southeast Asia. And we hope that this video has inspired you to come and visit Thailand. Hope to see you in the next video. And if you're thinking about actually moving to Thailand, like my family and I, go ahead and watch this last video that we posted a few weeks ago. That one talks about what we have to do to keep our visas up to date. And so if you're moving here, visas is something that you're gonna wanna consider. So go ahead and watch that video.